you're listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional. Today's topic, not merely outward. Before the 1930s, diamonds were rarely given as engagement rings. Egyptians worshipped the circle as a symbol of eternity. They plated rings out of reeds and gifted them to symbolize everlasting love. They wore them on the third finger of their left hands because they believed the vein of that finger traveled directly from the heart. The Greeks learned this tradition from Egypt, passing it to Rome and beyond. But it wasn't until a diamond cartel coined the best advertising slogan of the 20th century for the hardest substance in nature, convincing us that a diamond is forever. In the Bible, a king's ring symbolized his authority. Rings were given to trusted servants. Genesis 41, 41, 42. To potential mates, Genesis 24, 22. And in celebration, Luke 15, 22. Like today, jewelry and fine clothing were also used simply for beauty, Ezekiel 16, 11 through 14. Of what purpose are the gems and bright colors God created except to lend beauty? We express ourselves through our wardrobes, homes, and landscapes, but self-expression goes awry when we rely on clothing, hairdos, houses, cars, gardens, and gadgets for our value, Ezekiel 16:15. Swinging the pendulum in the other direction, Puritanism shunned the use of superfluities like jewels, color, and modern technology. But Peter's balanced approach, do not let your adornment be merely outward, 1 Peter 3.3, 3, ensures that the beauty of your character matches or exceeds that of your person or possessions. In Haggai, God promises his people a ring as a sign of being chosen, Haggai 2.23. But even better, God adorns us with the garments of salvation and the robe of righteousness, Isaiah 61.10. It's okay to surround yourself with beauty, but don't let it replace the beauty of salvation. Our key Bible text today comes from Job 28.12. But where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? Thank you for listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional.